Hello! Now today I'm going for a different style of video. I'm going to go for vlog style and I'll be bringing you along with me on a few trips that I made over the last couple of weeks. Now one of those trips was a little visit back to Dalesford, one of my favourite places, and it was because of a fabric and wallpaper launch by the wonderful fabric designer um, Barnaby Gates. They do some wonderful wallpapers and fabrics and they've done a collection with Willow Crossley who is a wonderful floral designer who, um, gosh, if you catch her Instagram, she's amazing. But they've done a wonderful collection that's all botanical inspired and it's gorgeous. So you'll come along with me to that launch, which is wonderful. And also, if you followed me for any length of time on Instagram or my blog, you'll know that I'm a huge fan of Constant Spry vases. Now, these are a couple of my collection, but last week I went along to the Garden Museum and saw the exhibition of Constant Spry's life, which is very interesting, so you'll see that too. But for now, I'm going to put some water in the spars of sweet peas. So we're starting with another whistle-stop trip to the Cotswolds. And this time we stayed overnight at an inn called the Swan Inn. It's in Ascot under Witchwood and it's incredibly pretty. Now what I hadn't realised about the Swan Inn before I booked the room was that each bedroom was designed by Willow Crossley herself, whose collaboration launch we'd come to the Cotswolds to attend. This room was designed in collaboration with interior designer Penny Morrison. Pea green, beautiful bath and beams. What's not to love? No visit to the Cotswolds is complete without a little trip to see my friend Catherine at Sato Interiors. So hard to find these seem impossible to score. So I dream of to somebody find that vintage love. This vintage beauty was just crying out for a new home. And who was I to refuse? Next stop, Glorious Dalesford, to celebrate the collaboration between Barnaby Gates and Willow Crossley. Lunch and a talk through the botanical collection was followed by a wonderful tour of the Dalesford Market Garden, where everything is organically grown. Well, we 
just, we just have a uh, Of course, I had to sample the goods. Naturally, I factored in a bit of post-launch shopping. There's always something to be inspired by at Dalesford. I also gathered a few tips on how to make an exit with style. I've been a fan of the author and mid-century floral designer Constance Spry for many years. After I discovered a few of her Fulham pottery planters, tucked away in an old dusty curiosity shop in Cambridgeshire. When I heard that the Garden Museum were holding an exhibition in celebration of her life and works, it was a must attend. Now, normally at this point, I try to squeeze in a quick dinner somewhere before making a mad dash for the last train home to Norfolk. But this time we needed to stay in London because we had Wimbledon the next day. Rather than spend the night at a hotel, we were invited to try out a new home from home short stay booking platform called Smarter Stays. And I'll leave the link below for anyone who's interested. Truth be told, I couldn't call this a home from home as it was far more glamorous and gorgeous than anything at Hill House. Also, it's perfectly located and we were able to walk to Knightsbridge for the evening and spend our evening browsing through shops, ending up in Harvey Nichols on the fifth floor for a lovely spot of dinner. The very next day, we were invited to watch the tennis on Centre Court at Wimbledon by Sipsmith, who were one of this year's sponsors.
I hope you enjoyed that little jaunt to the Cotswolds. It's the end of vlog one, and I hope you'll join me for the next one.